Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial by Simply Learn. In this tutorial, we will learn about React TypeScript. Let's see what's in it for you in this session. We will first look at what is TypeScript. Then we will understand what is React. Then we will look at some of the features of React. Followed by which we will look at the advantages of using React with TypeScript. And proceeding further, we will see how to install and configure TypeScript and React. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. So, without wasting any further time, let's get started. What is TypeScript? TypeScript is object oriented and strongly typed programming language, which is a superset of JavaScript. TypeScript was designed by Anders Hegelsberg at Microsoft. The limitations of JavaScript for the developing large-scale applications at Microsoft and among its external customers led to the creation of TypeScript. Because of the difficulty of working with complicated JavaScript code, there was a demand for custom tooling to make developing JavaScript components easier. TypeScript code is converted to JavaScript, which can be executed anywhere where JavaScript is supported, in a browser, on Node.js, or in any other application. TypeScript is a JavaScript with some additional features. To support more robust interaction with the editor, TypeScript adds additional syntax to JavaScript. And TypeScript is moreover a scripting language that understands JavaScript and uses type inference to provide powerful capabilities without additional code. What is React? React is a JavaScript library for creating user interfaces that is declarative, efficient, and customizable. React allows to build complicated user interfaces out of components, which are small, independent pieces of code. React was first open sourced in 2013 by Facebook and has since become one of the most popular libraries in the front end world. With frameworks like Redux, React can simply be extended to integrate functionality like routing and state management patterns. Features of React React is an open source library and is developed by Facebook. React apps are fast, flexible, modular, and scalable. React is powerful JavaScript libraries that creates interactive interfaces. Popular libraries of React are Redux, Material Design, and Jest. Redux helps manage state in JavaScript. Redux is the most popular of all React libraries because it easily tracks the state as the application size grows. React has a robust developer community and variety of libraries. React is declarative and component-based. Declarative views make the React code more predictable and easier to debug. And React is component based, that is, React letters build encapsulated components that manage their own state and compose them to make complex UIs. Advantages of using TypeScript with React In a React project, TypeScript allows us to write HTML code directly. TypeScript delivers superior intelligence and code completion for JSX when used with React. JavaScript XM is abbreviated as JSX. When using IDEs like Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Autumn, WebStorm, Eclipse and others, TypeScript comes in handy. This allow better development by improving autocomplete and snippet generation. TypeScript has code that is easy to read and understand. TypeScript is statically typed language. The distinction between statically and dynamically typed programming languages is when type checking occurs. Variables in static language are type checked. While creating React app, complex type definitions can be defined as interfaces in TypeScript. 
This is useful when you wish to use a complex type in the application, such as an object with multiple properties. Microsoft supports TypeScript, an open source programming language. Millions of developers all over the world enjoy and use it. This implies that if you get stuck while learning or using TypeScript, you can easily obtain help and answers on the community portal. We can integrate TypeScript into our existing React projects. For this, we can configure the TypeScript compiler. Installing and configuring TypeScript and React. Before we install TypeScript, we need to install Node.js. Go to the Node.js official website and you can install Node.js from there. Once you install Node.js, go to the command prompt and run this command npm install g TypeScript. This command is used to install TypeScript globally. Once you have installed TypeScript, to check if the TypeScript is installed properly, run the command. TSC TypeScript compiler hyphen V to check the version of the TypeScript compiler. Next, we need to install React. For installing React and creating a React project, go to the command prompt and run this command npx create React app. This command will create a simple folder structure of the application, then install all the necessary modules and get the project up and running for you. First of all, we need to install Node.js. To install node.js, go to the official website of node, node.js.org. Go to the downloads. In downloads here, you can install the node.js. If you have Windows, if you have Mac OS, you can install it from there. So I have Windows, so I'll install Windows. Since I have already installed, so I'll cancel it. So once you have installed node.js, then go to the command prompt. In command prompt, we need to install the TypeScript. To install the TypeScript, run the command npm, that is node package manager, install hyphen g, g stands for installing globally, and then TypeScript. What this command does is, it installs the TypeScript globally. Run this command, once you run this command, the TypeScript will be installed. Since I have already installed TypeScript, I will cancel it. So after you have installed TypeScript, to check if the TypeScript is installed properly, run the command TypeScript compiler TSC space hyphen hyphen b and press enter and this will show the version and this will show the version of the TypeScript installed. So I have version 4.5.4 installed in my device. So after this, to get started with the project after successful installation of Node.js and TypeScript, let us create a new folder. To create a new folder, type the command make directory and we'll name the folder as TypeScript hyphen React. So enter. So we have created the new folder. Next, we'll change the directory. To the folder which we created so cd to ts react so after this we need to initiate the project so to initiate the project we will run the command npm in it it is asking for a package name just click enter and click enter then is this okay click s yes. after this what we need to do is create react app so to create react app run the command npx space create react app and enter so this command will create a simple folder structure for your application and then install all the necessary modules and get your project up and running for you.
So this is the project folder which I have already created. I have the VS Code folder wherein I have settings.json file in this. Then I have installed all the node modules. Then I have the source folder. In source folder I have app.tsx file, counter.tsx, index.html, declarations, index.tsx file. To install webpack just run the command npm install webpack space webpack hyphen cli in the terminal this will install the webpack so i'll show you a simple hello world or hello everyone program so in app.tsx we'll just type hello everyone and we'll give the color as green and align the text at the center import since we have imported the counter file so in counter file we'll just type it subscribe to simply learn with text align in the center and with the color red so we'll just run this and here we go and here we go we have the message hello everyone and subscribe to simply learn so with that we have reached the end of this video like and share it if you found it interesting. Thank you so much for being here. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.